What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Leaf and today it is August, uh, October, they both start with an aw sound, October 1st, uh, what, what year, 2013, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, it's a brand new month, you can see the uh, seasons are still changing here in Animal Crossing, things are getting a little more yellowish orange in color. And um, I, I think eventually we're going to see a full season change if it isn't already like that now. I can't really tell. But uh, I'm excited to be doing like a full proper episode of this uh, of this uh, compared to what we were doing. Is there anything in there? No. Okay. Uh, like the episode that I, I posted two episodes yesterday because I got behind and I had to like kind of rewind time a little bit just to get the horseshoe crab. And man, I am so glad to not be swimming around right now. I'm still wearing my wetsuit. Uh just because I haven't changed it <laughs> but man I was just swimming around for literally two to three hours trying to find uh, a horseshoe crab I ended up finding a lot more uh, than was uh, bargained for I guess oh what this okay I'll sell that don't worry and I donated everything to the museum I possibly forgot to show off my inventory when I was doing that and I I do apologize for that what's up cat hey Z bear I got lost in thought and now it's already evening pretty so anyway did you need something Let's talk. Oh, hey. Uh, I know this is short notice and also a little weird, but can I come over to your house right now? It's just... I've been curious about your place for a while now. It's been bugging me. What do you say? Okay, I guess. I think I think that sounds great. I love her personality. Cool, you rock. All right, lead on, Purdy. This is great. The The reason I'm excited about this is because they some of the people, some of the townspeople, always want to schedule a visit for me. And I'm always like, no. You can't. <laughs> no, we're doing this now. But everyone wants to be on a schedule. When it comes to video games, I'm much more of like a impromptu type of guy. I mean, that's that's how I grew up playing video games. I never scheduled playing video games, and then Animal Crossing comes along and wants to schedule playing video games. <laughs> nice place, Purdy. Look at this. Oh yeah, I got a new th I got a new room up there. <laughs> what do you think, Cat? Try to find your way around if you can. Ha <laughs> ha! This house is very easy, Bear, Purdy. Will she go to other rooms? Like, will she follow me to other rooms? Because I don't know. Maybe she will. Then again, maybe she will. Let me push that in the corner. Or, oh yeah, I can't move. For whatever reason, I can't move stuff or put stuff out. When... Oh, jeez, uh, she's there. God, it was like dark and she just appears and she's a menacing cat. And there's a reflection of the freaking earth in Space Man, Sam. Are you serious? Okay, cat. I hope you like this area. I'm I'm leaving this room. You can stay. You can hang out in that room for all I care. And uh, I did get the extra room. There's no real need going up there to showing you because that would make that would mean I had to move stuff. But I got it just so you know I could have it. Mmm, this place is starting to smell just like you. God, it's so creepy. I guess that makes sense. A house usually ends up smelling like the people in it, right? Maybe that goes for my house too. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing when I think about it, Purdy. I kind of think it's the opposite. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Is it the? Is it that way? Huh? You're gonna? You're going somewhere? What? Do I look like a house sitter? Wait up! I'm leaving too, Purdy. Um, I kind of wonder. Is that the? Is it the opposite? Do people smell like their homes, or does your home smell like you? I almost think people smell like their homes more often than not. Because I mean, oh, well, I don't know. I guess if you use like lots of perfumes and stuff, or colognes, or I don't know. Who knows? My uh, my entire house was like Axe body spray because that's all I spray ever. Whoa, you're already here? I'm okay, kidding. I don't ever. I don't use Axe body spray. <laughs> Let's pick this up. I guess I left that there before. And uh, oh yeah, perfect apples are ready again. Need to take those to another town. Cat wants a geyser. I'm not quite sure where to put the geyser though. I feel like I need to make. Tr oh. What's up, Lily? Hi, Zach. I'm glad I ran into you because I wanted to tell you that this in person. It may seem sudden, but I'll be moving away the 6th of this month. Don't get the wrong idea. This is a great town I live in. I just need to experience new places. It's just something I need to do for myself. You understand, don't you? No, don't leave. Zach, why do you have to say that? Now I'm not sure if moving is a good idea at all. Okay, the move is off. You're right. I just can't picture a new life without my old friends in it. There we go. We're such good friends, too. Now oh, a gyroid that I'll sell. Uh, I don't know where to put the geyser. I'm thinking somewhere near a lake. Like, either here. Like, just boom, geyser, like, right here. Or, um, instead, I could always put it up north um, where my old apple farm was. I think that would be cool. But 
I think I really need to focus on building trails. And I know that I've talked about that a lot. Like, I say that a lot to you guys. But I mean it. A after seeing Ashley's trails, I'm like, whoa. They can look good. Hello, Z-Bear. You seem chipper as always. So, what can I do for you? Let's I want to chat. Amelia was talking to me about keeping a butterfly as a pet, and now I really want one too. Besides being good company, I think having a, bi a bug buddy would make my home feel much homier. So much homier. I wish I wasn't busy. Maybe you can catch a butterfly for me. I'm not picky. Any kind will do. Okay. That seems obvious. This is like the thing I always do to people when they want new furniture. I give them bugs, and now someone's actually asking for a bug pet. So this is perfect. I will go ahead and do that. Let me go find the butterfly. I found uh, I saw one flying around up here. Oh, look, I'm getting you one of the best. One of my favorite butterflies, the monarch butterfly. Who rules now? I rule. My character in this game is so incredibly cocky after capturing fish and butterflies. He taunts them. He 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 mocks them and their natural like beauty. My care I that's not me saying that stuff. You, gotta, you guys got to realize that. That's not me. That's not how I would do things. I wouldn't even catch these things in the first place unless there actually was a museum taking them. <laughs> uh, it's great that we've had so many chances to chat, Ace. So, how can I help you? I got a bug. And guess what? It's a butterfly just like you asked for, so you owe me. You need a bigger cage, though. It's a real monarch butterfly. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Here, my way of saying thanks. What is this? Thank you. It's a picnic table. I know you're busy, so thank you again for taking time out for me. You're welcome. And I'm glad she understands how busy I am playing this game. <laughs> I spent like, if any of my townspeople knew that I spent like two to three hours in the ocean, in the middle of the night, in the rain, just treading water, searching for things, they would feel sympathy for me. They really would. They would be. They would understand. They would be like, "Whoa, Mayor! Don't, don't, don't over what the heck? What is this? Hey, it's Jack. Trick or treat! Hehehe. <laughs> I am the mighty Tsar of Halloween, Jack. Whoa, wait, what's with that look on your face? Are you perhaps wondering if today is Halloween, Pumpkin? Fear not. That glorious and spooky night is not quite here yet. I came here today to look for loyal subjects who are willing to work for me all Halloween night. Hmm, you. You seem pretty sharp, unless my pumpkin eyes are playing tricks on me. When Halloween comes around on October 31st, would you like to be one of Jack's loyal subjects? Sure. Hehehe. <laughs> well, it didn't take me long at all to find a servant. Let's get started with what you're supposed to do on the day of the festival, Pumpkin. On Halloween, you're supposed to scare everyone in town, scare them good and spooky. Your job is to find a costume that people in town are scared of and use that to scare them silly. And of course, when I talk about costumes, yes, I certainly mean some sort of mask. To celebrate your joining my ranks as a servant, I'll give you one such item right now. Holy moly, he did. Take this monster mask. Please collect as many of these scary items as you can so that you may spook people the right way. You can buy them at the Abel Sisters shop as well. The prices are fixed at, whoa, 1,031 bells. So that should be your hint. 1031. Got it. Oh, I so do love October 31st or 1031, Pumpkin. And I'm going to tell you something vitally important. I really love candy. During Halloween, everyone else will ask you for candy as well. So make sure you have enough to go around. Well, was I clear in explaining your role? Yep, I'm ready for it. I'm glad you have such a smart... Uh, I'm glad to have such a smart and eager servant. Right, please collect some spooky masks and candy by Halloween. The Halloween festival starts at 6 p.m. on October 31st. Good luck with your preparations, pumpkin. Oh my, he disappeared. I'm counting on you. He straight up disappeared. Did you see that? I'm sure you guys did. Let me wear this mask really quick. I want to see what this mask looks like. <laughs> I'm Frankenzack. Zackenstein. Which is better, Zackenstein or Frankenzack? Retail, they're buying conch shells. Boo, I'm spooky. Nothing here, huh? Let me go sell some stuff. Oh, there's a lost item. Oh, no. No, no, no. What? Fake! You're faker. What am I supposed to do? Here we go. 
Here we go. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. It's gonna push me way out. Oh god. See, I blew it. I blew it. I missed out on like two bags because of that. I was lined up the wrong way. It's okay. Having the geyser up here would be pretty cool. Just like a freaking geyser like up here. That'd be sweet. Okay, anyway. Maybe over here even would be better. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. Ah! Jeez! <laughs> you scared me. Hey, I found you! I've totally been looking for you, Splish. Okay, you can't fool me. I know what you're really after. You want to pry into my personal life. And you know what I say to that? Yay, sounds like fun. Let's do it right now. We'll go over to my house and look at all my stuff, Cleats. She's calling me Cleats now. Yeah, fun! Woohoo, let's head to my house then. Cleats, you lead and I'll follow. And uh, she lives where exactly? Hi, I'm Frankenstein. She live... Lily, uh, Amelia, Puddles, that's right. She lives right down there, close to the bridge. I'm gonna pry Frank and Zach, Zach and Stein here. I'm gonna pry into Puddles' personal life. Tongue twister almost. Okay, here we are. Wait a second, I'll unlock my door. Here we go. Welcome, come in, Splish. This place looks awesome. She has one of the fossils that I surely bought. She probably took that balloon thing from me. I probably gave it to her. How do I, how do I interact? You need a bigger house. They, sh KK Ballad, yeah. Just take your time, okay? What do you think of my room? Pretty cool, right? Anything you're interested in? Yes. Really? I'm so I'm so flattered. Hey, I might have I might let you have something. This. Sorry, that's one of my prized possessions. <laughs> uh, I don't actually want anything here. Goodbye, puddles. I had fun. What? You're leaving? So my room is totally awesome, right? Totally. Wow, really? I'll keep up with the good work then, Splish. That was fun. Thanks for coming over, Cleats. I don't like her calling me Cleats. It's bad enough when Rod wanted to do it. Anyway, let's go to retail, sell some stuff really quickly. Go check out the shops and stuff. I don't know. Am I going to need gold coins to get candy? How do I get candy? I have like one piece of candy in my inventory. I think Apollo gave it to me one time. Apollo's a good friend. He's a good friend in this game. And I uh, I really do appreciate his contribution to my to my monetary fund. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go up here. Do I have any inventory space at all? No. You know what I should do first? I should have my, my fossils appraised, and I should also give... Uh, th that's right. Okay, hold on. This is gonna be confusing, but let me drop a couple things here that I know I'm gonna be selling, like these gyroids. Put these on the ground. Put these on the ground, because we have a uh, have some letters that I needed to read off. Where are they? They're here. One is from Red's Gallery. It's my, it's my present, which is something that I got a mystic statue which I will donate and then from Amelia my dear Zach I decided to buy these on a whim but they just didn't cut it for me you might be able to pull them off though so your look is so different from mine after all with love Amelia present open it up fishnet tights holy moly those are indeed I am gonna wear those I love wearing fishnets not in real life <laughs> I'm kidding. In real life, obviously. No, there was this fish nets thing that I kept doing in Minecraft. I need to bring that back into Animal Crossing. Let me sell. Let me get my fossils appraised. Donate a few things as well. And then what I will do is sell a bunch of stuff. And then go to the shops, the shoppies. I'm Frankenstein. Ooh, ooh. Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Astoria Museum. Assess a fossil. I'm gonna have him assess all five of these fossils, all five of these bad boys. Assess them, let me know what they are, because I am curious. Oh who, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look. Well, well, all, all these, okay, I know that you have them. I know he has them, he has them. I've, I've donated all the fossils that I can. It's crazy to think about, but I have. And now I'm going to donate some art. Probably. Make a donation of art. 
And here we go. One thing, the mystic statue. Better than nothing, though. So congratulations, Blathers. You have sucked another piece of artwork from my soul. One that I planned on holding on to forever and ever, passing on to my grandchildren. But you, you big bad owl, you've taken it. You put it in your museum, and you're never going to let it out. This art deserves to breathe, but you're going to suffocate it here, and I'm out. I'm tired of you, Blathers. I'm tired of you and your feathers and your beak and your neck that twist around almost 360 degrees. I'm not really mad. That was just a put on. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, man. You guys have got to help me. I'm going crazy. Not really. I'm yawning. I'm sorry. I shouldn't yawn. It's the uh, the dream beats from uh, from. Uh, <laughs> it's not actually the dream beats, but I could claim it's the dream beats from that one game. What game is that? Can I wear these yet? No, I can't. Why not? Can I remove my... Can I remove this? Remove wetsuit. And then can I wear my fishnets? No, I'm already wearing argyles, though. Uh, everything's perfect for me, but not quite. Let me go ahead and go in here and sell this. Get it over with. Get some money in my coffers. All right, hello. I would like to sell some stuff to you. I want to sell some stuff to you. Let's see it. Uh, we we got fossil. A lot of fossils. Com painting, picnic table. There we go. Dandelions. All right, sell all that stuff. Crunch those numbers. 23,000 bells. It's a good deal deal right now. And then now, I'm going to head over to... Um, uh, B -b 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 -b. Uh, probably over to Nook, just to talk to him. I, or maybe not. No, I, no, I've already talked to him. Uh, I guess I'll go by the stores and see what there is. See what's in store at the stores. You guys know what they say. And that lost item is going to have to remain lost, because I do not want to take it to find its owner right now. I just don't. I don't have enough time. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, this way. T I Y. All right, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Sure enough, selling candy here instead of fortune cookies. Boy, what is this? KK House. I think I have that. But I'm gonna take it anyway. I never. I need to make a list of what I have and what I don't have, like a spreadsheet, and keep that spread. Oh, a pumpkin chair? What the heck? Are you kidding me? What is this? A spooky chair. All right. Yes, I'll take that. That's a good deal. I'll take it. It's spooky. I like it. Maybe I'll have a spooky room in my house or something. Probably not. Do 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 do. Do do do. What is this? Do, 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 do. An odd clock. No thanks. All right, let me take a look at the at the carpets and stuff. Steel flooring. No thanks. Parlor wall. No thanks. I'm just taking a look here really quick, guys. Bear with me. This video is almost over. Parlor wall. It's weird I can buy both, though, isn't it? Did I, did I not look at the floor last time? Oh, a flower pop carpet? No. No. Spooky wall, there we go. Limited time offer, yes. I will take that, that is cool. I like it. October is shaping up to be great with all the spooky stuff that we're getting here. There is a candy that I can't buy because I don't have enough coins right now, but maybe soon, maybe I'll be able to. Do, 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 do. excuse me. I'm going next door to see Leaf. E e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e
I am looking at Leaf. I'm leaving Leaf. Leaving Leaf. I'm leaving Leaf. 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 Leaving Leaf. Leaf. Beep. Be 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 okay, now let's go over to the Able Sisters to get some extra items. And we'll see what they have in store for me. Spooky items, hopefully. Items that I've never seen with my eyes before would be great. So let's check it out. Any of this stuff spooky? It's hard to tell. What is this? Iconic vibe. No. No, no, never mind. None of this stuff looks spooky, by the way. So I'm going to go next door. Take a look at the masks. Masks. Oh my god, that's spooky. Hi, Zach. I, d I didn't know you were here. All right, well, check it out. This is definitely spooky, right? The werewolf hood. Yes. Yes, it's 1031. I love it. I'll take it. I want to be a werewolf. I'll be a Zack in wolf's clothing. What is this? This is not a special thing, right? Combat helmet. But is it for Halloween or is it just, you know... Nah. It's cheap. It's not a Halloween price in the date. Or not a Halloween date in the price. I think we're good. Something... Okay, there we go. Let me switch into it. So now I have the wolf mask and the Frankenstein. Let me know if I miss anything there. The wolf hood looks pretty freaking cool. Anyway, guys, come back next time for more Animal Crossing. New Leaf. I'll see you next time. I'll keep buying stuff. I'm going to make this Halloween awesome. I'll be working with Jack the freaking pumpkin. And I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.